Three disturbing crime scenes, all believed to be related. A baby found dead, a man stabbed to death in a deadly car crash. Yeah, Eyewitness News reporter Irene Cruz is live in Woodland Hills with the latest on the investigation. Irene. John, Rachel, these are all awful and sad cases. Investigators believe they're all connected, though it's not very clear exactly how. The first of those scenes happening here at this apartment complex in Woodland Hills. You can see the gate behind me has been damaged and now covered in crime tape. But let's break down the incidents and the timeline of all this. This is just horrific. Monday around 4.30 a.m., a baby around five or six months was pronounced dead on the 405 after she was found in lanes of traffic. Another girl between seven and nine years old was found on the side of the road with injuries and was taken to the hospital. This was in the Westchester area. And then just 30 minutes later, around 5 a.m., a deadly crash was reported in Redondo Beach. A woman crashed at a high speed into a tree, killing her. And then at 7.30 a.m., LAPD got reports of a man's body at this apartment complex in Woodland Hills on Burial Avenue. Neighbors say they heard arguing and described the group some scene. Their door was wide open. There was blood on the floor leading into their apartment and then a trail of it in the hallway leading up to the elevator and I saw some blood on the walls. Called the police and told them that something was not right and they told me after I spoke, when I spoke to the EMT to go in and check on the body so I did and uh, he was diseased. He was face down on the floor and there was a lot of blood. Eyewitness News has learned that the older girl hurt in the 405 incident may have been a witness to the stabbing death, but police aren't revealing too many details. And back out here alive, we are still waiting for more information to be released. Still many unanswered questions. What are the identities of the people involved in all of this? Who were the people that dropped off those children on the 405? CHP now asking for anyone who might have been driving on the 405 at that time to release their dash cam video and possibly to look for a black sedan in that footage. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.